For this video, we're gonna be solving optimization problems. And all problems included in this video are from the Basic Calculus Grade 11 Third Quarter Pivot 4A Calabarzon Learner's Material from page 48 to 49. Let's have our problem number 1. Eds Matreo, a science teacher decided to renovate her rectangular garden by using rock wall on one side of the garden and wire fencing for the other three sides. If she has only 50 feet of wire fencing, find the dimension that would give her the maximum area of her garden. And what is the maximum area? The first thing that we are going to do is let's illustrate the garden. So ang sabi sa problem, one side of the garden is made of rock wall. And the other three sides are wire fencing. Suppose that this side is Y. And this side is X. For our letter A, the mathematical equation of the problem is 2x plus y equals 50. So, saan natin nakuha ang 2x plus y equals 50? 50 is the wire fencing. So, we have 2x, tung dalawang side na ito, yun yung 2x, plus yung isang y. Because yung another y is the rock wall. Okay? So, 2x plus y equals 50. The second one, is we need to find the optimization function. And it is f of x is equal to x times y. Because if we are going to multiply x times y, we are going to find the area of our garden. The next is for our letter C. The mathematical equation 2x plus y equals 50 can be represented in the form y is equal to 50 minus 2x. So, dinerive lang natin yung 2x plus y equals 50. Inilipat natin yung 2x sa other side, kaya siya naging negative 2x. And, using our optimization function na f of x is equal to x times y, isa substitute lang natin or ipa-plug in natin yung value ng y natin dun sa optimization function para maging isang variable lang tayo. So, we have x times the value of y which is 50 minus 2x. So we have x times the quantity 50 minus 2x. I-distribute natin yung x dun sa dalawa, sa 50 tsaka sa negative 2x. So we're going to have 50x minus 2x squared. And after this, i-equate natin siya sa 0 para mahanap natin yung value ng x. And pag nakuha na natin yung value ng x, we're going to find the closed bounded interval. So we have 50x minus 2x squared equals 0. This is also equivalent to 2x times the quantity 25 minus x equals 0. So yung GCF ng 50x tsaka 2x squared is 2x. So inilabas natin yung 2x out of the two terms. Tapos ang natira sa 50x is 25 at ang natira sa 2x squared is x na lang. And since we have two factors, yung 2x tsaka yung quantity 25 minus x, equate natin yung dalawang factors natin sa 0 para makuha natin yung closed bounded interval. Unahin natin yung 2x equals 0. The value of x here is 0. Because if we're going to divide both sides by 2, kasi we need to isolate x, so the value of x is 0. The other one is 25 minus x equals 0, yung isa namang factor. So to find the value of x, lipat lang natin yung 25 sa kabila, magiging negative 25. But since negative yung x natin, i-multiply lang natin or i-divide sa negative 1 both sides, and our answer is 25. And from here, we have x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 25. Thus, the closed bounded interval is from 0 to 25. And after finding the closed bounded interval, we are going to find the critical number. That's for letter D. So, before we get the critical number, we need to determine the first derivative of our function. 
yung f of x is equal to 50x minus 2x squared. So, kuhanin lang natin yung first derivative niya. So, we have f prime of x is equal to the derivative of 50x is 50 and the derivative of 2x squared is 4x. So, we have 50 minus 4x. And this is the first derivative of our function. And to continue in finding the critical number dahil meron na tayong first derivative, makukuha na natin yung critical number. How? By equating the first derivative to 0. So, pag in-equate natin sa 0 yung first derivative natin, we're going to find the value of x. And that will be the, our critical number. So, yung first derivative natin is 50 minus 4x, tas i-equate natin siya sa 0. Lipat lang natin yung 50 to the other side. We are going to have negative 4x equals negative 50. And to isolate x, we need to divide both sides by negative 4. And our answer is 12.5. And this is our critical number. And after having our critical number and the closed bounded interval, we're going to substitute the critical number and the interval x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 25 to our function. So, ito yung function natin. f of x is equal to 50x minus 2x squared. The first one, let's substitute yung 0 muna. So, we're going to have f of 0 is equal to 50 times 0 minus 2 times 0 squared. So, this is equivalent to 0. The other one, let's substitute yung 25 f of 25 is equal to 50 times 25 minus 2 times 25 squared. And kung isosolve natin to, this is also equivalent to 0. The other one, yung critical number natin, which is 12.5. So we have f of 12.5 is equal to 50 times 12.5 minus 2 times 12.5 squared. This is equivalent to 312.5. And after having the values, let's analyze. Since we are finding the maximum area of a rectangular garden, therefore it occurs on x is equal to 12.5. So this is the highest value. Then, substitute natin yung 12.5 dun sa mathematical equation natin kanina dun sa letter A to find the value of our y. So we have 2 times 12.5 plus y equals 50. Then, y is equal to 50 minus 25 because 2 times 12.5 is 25. Ililipat lang natin siya sa kabila, kaya may minus 25 tayo. And y is equal to 25. Let's have again our garden. So, ito yung rock wall natin. Ito yung wire fencing natin. Since we're finding the dimension that would give the maximum area of the garden, it occurs at x is equal to 12.5. So, ito yung highest natin. So, we have x is equal to 12.5. At nakuha natin yung y value natin, which is 25, nung sinubstitute natin yung 12.5 dun sa ating mathematical equation. So, we have y is equal to 25. So, ito yung dimension na hinahanap natin. And also, what is the maximum area? So, this is length times width lang. The maximum area is 312.5 square feet. So, ito yung answer natin sa ating problem. For our second problem, find a pair of non-negative number that have a product of 48 and minimize the sum of the three times of the first number and the second number with closed bounded interval of 1 to 6. So, the first thing that we need to do is to have our mathematical equation. We have x times y is equal to 48. So, yung x tsaka yung y, pag pinagmultiply natin, it is equal to 48. And it is non-negative. The next one is we need to identify the optimization function. And it is f of x is equal to 3x plus y. Because minimize the sum of 3 times the first number. So, 3 times the first number and the second number. So, 3x plus y. Then, we're going to derive our mathematical equation. So, hanapin lang natin yung value ng y niya. So, what we are going to do is divide both sides by x. So, y is equal to 48 over x. Because our mathematical equation can be represented by this 
form. Again, y is equal to 48 over x. And after deriving the equation, we are going to plug in this value to our optimization function. We are going to have f of x is equal to 3x plus 48 over x. So yun yung y natin. Pinalitan natin ng 48 over x. Also, we can write this in this form. 3x plus 48x raised to negative 1. Because in this form, we can easily get the derivative of this function in our next step. Because our next step is to find the first derivative of the function. And we can easily to find the derivative if our function is in this form. So let's have our step letter D. Find the first derivative. So this is our function again. So using the power rule, we're going to have our derivative. So the derivative of 3x is 3. And the derivative of 48x raised to negative 1 is negative 48x raised to negative 2. Because we're going to multiply exponent to the coefficient, which is negative 1 times 48, we have negative 48. And negative 1, magsusubtract tayo ng 1 sa exponent natin. Negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. Tapos ilipat lang ulit natin because we're going to avoid negative exponent. So lipat natin yung x raised to negative squared dun sa ibaba ng 48 to make it positive. So we have 3 minus 48 over x squared. And dito, pwede natin silang ipag-combine na dalawa. And to make that happen, pag-iisahin lang natin sila ng denominator. So we are going to have 3x squared minus 48 all over x squared. Which can be written as f of x is equal to 3 times the quantity x squared minus 16 all over x squared. So ang ginawa naman dito, finactor out lang yung GCF nung 3 tsaka 48 which is 3. So nawala yung 3 dun sa x squared and yung 48 naging 60 na lang. So 3 times x squared is 3x squared. 3 times negative 16 is negative 48. Because in this form, mas mabilis nating makukuha yung values ng x natin or yung mga critical numbers. So let's have our letter E. Find the critical number. So, to find the critical number, i-equate lang natin yung ating first derivative sa 0. And we're going to solve for x. We have 3 times the quantity x squared minus 16 all over x squared is equal to 0. So, dito ang pwede natin gawin. Since factorable yung quantity x squared minus 16 natin, i-factor natin sila. And the factors are x plus 4 and x minus 4. So, still, x squared yung nasa denominator natin. So, paano natin makukuha ang values ng x? This part, yung x plus 4, x minus 4, tsaka x squared. So, i-equate natin silang tatlo sa 0. The first one, x plus 4 is equal to 0. So, lipat lang natin yung positive 4 sa kabila, magiging negative 4. The other one, x minus 4 equals 0. So, lipat natin yung negative 4 sa kabila, magiging positive 4. So, we have x squared is equal to 0. So, square root natin both sides. x is still 0. And dito, the critical number is only x is equal to 4. Why? Since we are looking for a pair of non-negative number. So, this is a negative number and this is not part of our critical number. And also, hindi rin natin pwedeng makuha yung x is equal to 0 as our critical number. Kasi x times y siya, di ba, equals 48. So, kapag nag-0 yung isa dun sa x at sa y, magiging invalid yung ating equation. Kasi, everything that we are going to multiply to 0, the answer is always 0. So, dito ang critical number lang is 4. So, the next step is we are going to substitute the critical number, yun yung 4 na nakuha natin kanina, and the interval x is equal to 1, and x is equal to 6. So, unahin natin dito sa ating original equation. f of x is equal to 3x plus 48 over x. Substitute muna natin yung x is equal to 1. So, we have f of 1 is equal to 3 times 1 plus 48 over 1. And this is equivalent to 51. Because 3 times 1 is 3. 48 divided by 1 is 48. So, 48 plus 3 is equal to 51. The next one is f of 6. 
This is equivalent to 3 times 6 is equal to 48 over 6. This is equivalent to 26 because 3 times 6 is 18 and 48 divided by 6 is 8. And 18 plus 8 is 26. And the last one for our critical number, we have f of 4. Is equal to 3 times 4 plus 48 over 4 is equal to 24. Because 3 times 4 is 12. And 48 divided by 4 is 12 also. So 12 plus 12 is 24. And for our next step, since we are finding the minimum value, hahanapin natin yung pinaka maliit. Kasi minimum value yung hinahanap natin. So nasa ang minimum value natin? Nasa x is equal to 4. Kasi 24 lang dito compared dun sa 51 tsaka dun sa 26. And it occurs on x is equal to 4. So after analyzing this, substitute x is equal to 4 to the given mathematical equation x times y equals 48. So we are going to have 4 times y is equal to 48. And divide natin both sides by 4 para ma-isolate natin yung y. And our answer is 12. Thus, the pair of non-negative number is 4 and 12. So if we're going to multiply 4 and 12, we're going to have 48. And this is the end of this video. So if you find this video informative, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. God bless us all. Thank you.